I'm regretting my life choices right now. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel, Lucy. Interrupting Lucy's here. Purring. Are you happy now? Today I'm going to bring you my May TBR. I am really excited. So I wasn't planning on participating. Lucy! I wasn't planning on participating in any TBRs this month except for Tone Top Around 11 and really I didn't have any set books for that but I decided I watched um, Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative and Angela from Literature Science Alliance. I watched their Bookiemon videos and then I went and watched the host's video and it sounded like so much fun and it's a really chill readathon. So I have my handy dandy cheat sheet here and basically um, in the Pokemon readathon it's based on Pokemon so all the points that you collect help to go toward defeating Team Rocket which if you were ever a Pokemon nerd, you'll remember that those were the villains in the games. So this runs from May 1st to 31st, so I have all month long to do this. And I have decided to be on Team Mystic, and really you can choose whatever team you want. That's just the one that I liked because it was like the water team. And you also get to pick a Pokemon. And so for that, I chose Blast type. I'll put a picture of him. He's super cute. And he is a water Pokemon. And each type of Pokemon has an advantage. So for water means that I get an extra 200 points for reading books with beautiful covers. And I actually have a couple that do have beautiful covers, so tell me. And then each team has their own set of challenges, and then if you want to do the challenges for another team, you can do that, but you only get half the points. So I only have books for my team's challenge, but you can double up, and then if I have books that may not fit my prompts, but they fit the other team's prompts, I'll count it that way. You also gain one point per page that you read no matter what the format. So I have quite a large amount of big books here. And this is going to be a ridiculously huge TBR, so let's just jump in. The first prompt is blue team read a book featuring the color blue either in the title or the cover image and I chose Wicked King by Holly Black. I started this and got like a hundred pages in and then I think I got distracted by another series I was really liking so I never finished it and I really need to finish the series and I've heard this one is even better than the Cruel Prince so I'm really excited. This is set in the world of Fae and it follows a human Jude and she just wants to fit in and she gets caught up in all the political intrigue and quests and it's very cool. Next is logical follow your head and read a book that you know you should get to and this is really shameful because I loved Skyward by Brandon Sanderson so much. It was my favorite book of last year and I think it was the first book I read last year and I hadn't read the sequel. So I'm gonna read Star Sight and this is gonna be so cool. It's set in a warring planet and 
and Spencer, the main character, wants to be a pilot. And her father was labeled as a coward, which is like the worst label you can have in this world. So Spencer is doing everything she can to fight that stigma and become a pilot and basically help save her planet. And it ended on such a huge and emotional cliffhanger. I can't believe I haven't gotten to this yet. So I'm, I'm so excited. Next is gym training. Read a book from the library or from your own TBR. So for that, I chose This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone. And this is a sci-fi book and it's a novella, I believe. And I don't really know a ton about it except that it has two time traveling agents and in the future their I think countries or planets or something are at war and they start working their way through the past through letters and then they end up falling in love and it sounds really cool. Next is Blanche's mission. Read a book that is set in another world non-earth related and I think this counts if I'm mistaken please let me know so I can pick another book but I picked a memory called Empire by Arcady Martine and don't know a ton about this but Jocelyn from Yogi with book and Angela from Literature Science Alliance both loved this book and I've been really anticipating it to come in the mail because um, number one, gorgeous cover, and it's a sci-fi book. It's set in this Texcalanli empire, and I think it's got like a murder mystery, and she has to save her planet or her world, something like that. But. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really good. Next is the group book for Team Mystic, and that is The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex Haro. Again, another gorgeous cover. And this follows January, and from what I can remember, she stumbles upon these doors to other worlds, and I believe that as she's exploring these, she starts to learn secrets about her past or herself, something like that. But it sounds really cool, and a lot of booktubers that have similar taste as me have enjoyed this book, so I think it'll be pretty good. The last is Articuno. Um, read a book by a Middle Eastern author or about Middle Eastern culture or mythology and I was looking through my books because I know I have some I have quite a few with Middle Eastern characters or authors so I got We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal and this will also count for one of the books the 20 books that I want to read in 2020 and this was one of my most anticipated reads last year and I haven't gotten to it yet and I've interacted with the author a little bit on social media and she's one of the nicest people and this is a signed edition but I've heard such good reviews about this book and I'm really excited and the sequel comes out I think this summer or this fall so I really do need to read this those are all the books that I want to read for the Bookimon readathon. But the other thing I want to do this month is I want to finish all the book for the Booktube SFF Awards. The first book or the first category is Best Adult Fantasy, and I need to read Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, which I have been really wanting to read that for so long and I finally bought it so it should be in the mail any day now. The cover is gorgeous. I've heard nothing but rave reviews for it. I think it'll be really good. And then I also need to read The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Next 
is Best Adult Sci-Fi, and for that I need to read Recursion by Blake Crouch, which I've heard is phenomenal. I also need to read Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, and also A Memory Called Empire. So killing two birds with one stone. And then for Best Young Adult, I need to read The Wicked King and Starsight. And for Middle Grade, I need to read Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. And I read City of Ghosts twice, and I really like it. And it follows this girl whose best friend is a ghost. And so she can see through the veil, which is the, like, the door between our world and the dead. And she gets into adventures. This one is set in Paris, which I think is really cool. And I think it'll be a really good read. And then also Dead Voices by Catherine Arden. And then finally, best short work. The only one I have left is This Is How You Lose the Time War. So not too many books. Oh, I forgot one. Best debut, which is The Ten Thousand Doors of January, Gideon the Ninth, and A Memory Called Empire. So all the books that I've already mentioned. I also have a couple extra here where even if I don't finish them, I want to start them. So first I am in a book club um, with Murphy Napier, her book club. So this month we're reading The Way of Kings, which we have two months to read it. So I do want to at least start it. And that's by Brandon Sanderson. It's the first book in the Stormlight Archives. It's supposed to be phenomenal, and because it's Sanderson, I think it will be, and I'm really excited to read this. And we're also reading Wizard of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin. I think this is a children's or middle grade fantasy book. I also want to continue reading Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This is one of the 20 books that I want to read this year, and or classics I want to read this year. I'm about halfway through it. I do, I don't think I'm going to finish it this month, but I do want to continue on in my read of it. I would like to start The Shadow Rising, which is book four in The Wheel of Time. I don't think I'm going to finish it, obviously, because Way of Kings is already like 1,200 pages, and this one's 900 something pages, and it's a nice floppy paperback. But I do want to start it because I don't want to let this series lapse because there's so many characters and so many events that if you don't, or if I don't stay on top of it, I'm going to start forgetting stuff. And I'm really enjoying my read of this, so I do want to keep going at a steady pace. And then my, I participate in the Cozy Mystery Book Club. Um, that's hosted by Angie from Books Are My Heart. And for this month, we're reading Assaulted Caramel, which is the first book, I think, in the Amish candy making series by Amanda Flower. And it looks really cute. And then I also want to read um, Anne's House of Dreams, which is the next book in the analog. But overall, I have a ridiculously huge TBR for this month. But have you read any of these books? What did you think? Is there a book that you think I should start with? If so, let me know in the comments. Or if you're reading one of these books this month and you want to do a buddy read, please let me know. Yay, I'm so excited and terrified and overwhelmed, but it's going to be a good month. April is finally over. I'm going to be positive this month, and I hope you guys stay safe and do something for yourself every day that makes you smile. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.